Whether you prefer ghost pumpkins, goblin gourds, the mini ones, or the giants, local farmers say pick them while you can. There's no need to panic, but I think it's going to be tight, a tight market. Shortage, I don't know. Shortage is probably a little harsh of a word. I think the market's going to be tight for a good quality pumpkin. Robert Naylor has been farming for 36 years and tells me a season of heavy rain is now hindering pumpkin harvests here and along the East Coast. We had over 30 some inches of rain in the last three or four months and the average annual rainfall for North Carolina is around 40 inches. The farm typically grows between three and four tons of pumpkins per acre per season. But this year, Naylor tells me his crop has been cut nearly in half. They had a lot of blooms and blossoms, but bees, bees try their best to work during a rainy day, but I don't think they were able to successfully complete the pollination. Another issue is the indirect effect the pandemic is having on transportation. All the freight haulers and transfer trucks are focused on hurricane areas and COVID-19 supplies, so freight has almost doubled since last year on pumpkins, okay? So that affects the, the, the liquidity of it, you know? With pumpkins in limited supply and people anxious to get out and do something normal again, Naylor suggests grabbing one before they're all gone. In Fuquay, Verena, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.